some missing shots by a half inch here and there yesterday to making them today. What turned it around for you guys? Um, I mean, really, we just had to be as patient as we could and make them start having to make some difficult ones. And uh, yeah, obviously, sixth end there. I mean, he had a shot to essentially send their team to the Olympics. I mean, it was there to, to score four or five and would have been the game. But the same same thing, half inch away from the shot that makes it for him is the shot that gives us a steal too. And 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 that's the way it ended up today. And we took that momentum and we and we ran with it. When you guys fell behind early today, how do you manage those emotions, John, and just make sure you stay on up course? You know, we just had to talk about being patient. And, you know, we talked about, you know, in curling when, you know, a team starts with the hammer, you know, is where you're tied up and have the hammer. And, and if we can get that and flip the hammer, we're tied up with the hammer. Said, you know what, you know, we might not flip this hammer in, you know, three or four ends today. It might take six, seven, eight, nine ends. And we finally flipped it after the eighth end. So, um, I mean, that's that's really it for us. It was, it was just being patient. It felt like you guys really gained a lot of momentum, your accuracy sharpened up as the game went along. How does that help you going into tomorrow? Um, you know, honestly, like, you know, now we have the momentum going our way and we get to start with the hammer tomorrow. So um, we're going to come out here and try to put a couple points on the board early and, uh, and flip the script on what those guys did to us for the first game and half there. Having done this last time, won the second two games of the best of three, what do you take, what lessons can you take from that period on you know, it doesn't really matter which one of the first two. And, you know, I've been in a game three now. This is the third time in the last three, three cycles. Um, but really, we just have to come out here. And, and tomorrow, it's it's winner goes, loser goes home. And that's, uh, it's sometimes, you know, this is like playing a national championship game for us. And, and we've came out and played some great games in our national championships. And we just got to treat it like, like such. How much of a team's experience, the fact that you guys have been in these high stakes competitions? Well, I mean, it's insane that, you know, seven of the eight people that are on the ice playing out there. We're playing in this same series the last time we were here. So, I mean, I, yeah, experience, but we all have experience playing in these games. So, um, yeah, we're just going to you know, come out here and, and have some fun tomorrow and hopefully uh, coming on the right side. It's a really close game, really fine margins. Do you expect tomorrow's game is going to be more the same? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's a great curling team that we're out there battling with. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of times during that game where if you're on the wrong side of, of an inch where, where you know, they they can win the game. But, you know, we're also one of those teams that if you're on the wrong side of an inch against us, we can we can just beat you. So, um, yeah, it should be a great battle. Okay, John, what do you think about uh, the, the two points or so was big, but... Uh, Corey Cook comes back on his first shot. John uh, went center goes short. Corey comes pump, pump, around. A pretty aggressive play. That uh, didn't work out. That worked on the fourth for him. So I think that was a really big turning point for you. Um, yeah, that's that's the difference. Is is you know like some teams have game plans for when they're ahead on the scoreboard, and some have them for when they're behind. And you know for us, like you know obviously you know our our MOs were never afraid to mix it up. So um, yeah, it was uh, yeah I was we we definitely commented on it when he uh, when he came around there in the seventh end.